How's it going, folks? Welcome back. Thank you for your patience. I've uh, just been waiting for um, our little tailwind of uh, the whole Arctic blast that's coming through on the whole nation. Uh, in Death Valley down here, we just we just got wind. We don't really catch much moisture from it all. So we're just waiting for that. Now that it's gotten warm, I'm spending time to fix up uh, the fencing for the chickens at the moment. That's a little bit of a major priority and make sure they're safe and shit. So starting off with that and then Eventually we'll get back to the, the fields there, but I just want to show you guys a little idea of, um, you know, some of the planning, some of the shit that, you know, where my mind's at, gotta get a, you know, framework of what we're... So let's go ahead and twist this around for a minute. All right, so yeah, to give you an idea of like, it was a rough estimate. I drew this up a while ago, trying to figure out something for the plot, and then uh, uh, our whole year got derailed by some stuff, so, um, you know... Picking up from where, where what I was trying to do uh, last year. So the idea is like, uh, I remember measuring off some of this stuff here. It's about 19 feet for the whole section here, 27, 60. Yeah. So was, the idea with the measurements is that we're working with 30 inch beds and I think it's uh, 15 inch pathways. So as each one builds together, I think, um, I think I wrote it off one of these bad boys here. Uh, I had a demonstration of the, the how it measured out to get but yeah essentially it fits here with i think a 30 inch pathway right down the middle here where the water would be and then i think there's a path here but these are going to be double these sizes i was going to run a path down the middle of all this but i think it would have been too much if, especially if i want to do drip lines or something so we're just going to leave these pads over here they're just going to be double. I think they're 30 plus for sure. So, you know, maybe an extra feet or two. So double these guys here working with um, probably plants. I'll try to rotate with some of these greens first as we go through to prep up the, the area and, you know, uh, get the, the first permanent beds going. But then as the summer comes along, we'll probably stack these with the uh, a more um, substantial growth like uh, peppers. You know, we're not going to yank those. Those those guys are going to stick in that bed for the whole time. So we'll, we'll try to layer out with the height, you know, what guys will keep like peppers, uh, zucchini, eggplant. Um, I think we're going to do tomatoes along the fence line. There's going to be a, another situation with that. But if not, then we'll have another spot probably further away. So they're not, you know, sh out sh shading everybody. Uh, we'll do, we'll trellis some tomatoes. Uh, we'll see, you know, we've got, time at all this is our first year doing any of this so yeah this is going to be interesting kind of get some information yeah like i was saying yeah the seven 15 foot beds 17 beds but i may save some of this spot over here for the squash and we'll just do them as patches instead of having to run them as big rows we'll just do some squash some melons um uh, maybe some grasses i don't know all right we'll figure out some rye some corn Something interesting but then yeah just got some other details like uh the tools different stuff that we'll need you know i need like another uh i need another wheelbarrow uh broad fork's gonna be the biggest one that's a for sure along with the the tilter we'll try to get a mixer that's a uh, it's probably like the bigger buys on all this stuff and eventually it'll be the dirt and then getting um alfalfa meal and shit soybeans uh, soy meal other dry fertilizers to be able to mix into the dirt and uh you know try to make our attempt on this living soil no-till regenerative agriculture all all the key words let's do some work man let's, let's make some soil <laughs> and then we do have other plots yeah that's right we also do have um uh smaller sections along the house that we'll get to later on and we'll use those um one pot one, one spot's gonna be for the niece she's gonna have her own little spot that she can grow some shit and then uh we also will try to grow some feed for the the chickens um i don't know about grains necessarily i don't know i, I don't we had these like high omega-3 grasses a while ago. They ate the crap out of it. Like I'll show you eventually, you know, what the hell we were working with in uh, Plot B. It's like this like small, you know, odd shaped looking island that we had uh, pumpkins and uh, cannabis and a couple other things that we were just growing in this small little, little personal section. And then I had a bunch of grass growing with it. Um, I don't know, we were just 
trying to add add to the soil because you know it used to be just dead or you if we tried to use wood chips i mean i remember decades uh, it's almost been 20 30 years we've, we've had this house and i remember all different kinds of things different plants bird of paradise a apricot tree eventually you know at one point different stuff so now now we're, we're just introducing different stuff like just keeping that going and it's you know I personally have watched the dirt and uh, the just the whole organic matter to it just develop. You know, it's been a very slow, very uh, unskilled, uh, absent-minded work. Honestly, like we just, you know, I, I just try to. I put thirty fucking plants in there, and chickens ate like twenty-eight of them, and two zucchinis just kept popping little little buds here and there, little little veggies that we just throw over and feed them with or it'd be the squash the pumpkins that you know it deworms them and stuff this omega flaxseed stuff and ryegrass or some some sort of thing and when they break out and or i would open up to let them clear it out they just ate it all up so it was just what they did so i don't know i got i know i got i got i got some sort of experience with this we have tried to grow some things we do have some sort of you know interaction this is this this uh this co-op, this mo mutual living with the chickens and letting them out in pasture, and then they have their own space, and then they get organic feedings from uh, the local restaurants that that doesn't go to waste. We pick it up every night and stuff like that. It's yeah, we've 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 had some endeavors in, in this whole farming thing, but uh, trying to take a little bit more serious approach this year, and that's that's what this little uh, paperwork here is all about, and all the tools and. This this channel to to document it and you know kind of keep us uh, in, in check. You can look back and see our progress, you know, and uh, know, have some fun. You know, reach out, see what people see about it, you know, say about it, and see what they do. Uh, it's just a whole, whole journey. Eh? So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I don't know. But, there's nothing really to take off of my thing. There's no template, nothing. It's just me jotting off of my brain. Little things here and there. Trying to remember what we do at work. Uh, some of the tools, which is very primitive. Very primitive. I go out there. I got a little sheet. You know, hit this bed. I got my, my dozen, ten, 10 steps that I usually hit with all these beds by then. Hit it with the drill. Mark it out. And get your grid. Plant some shit you know, that you've been growing. And let it grow. You know. You're not doing it and growing. It grows on and on. You work on the system. You 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 get the water, the temp, air, nutrients, soil, all that good shit that it needs. But it's it's doing its own thing. So we just play our part. That's it. I just want to learn what my part is. Yeah. All right, folks. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, hopefully, we'll get back on the field and, and we'll do some real work now. But hey, this is part of the process. So just uh, keep it 100. Thank you.